Jen, I would like to propose a toast to Seth and Julian. <clears throat> Good evening. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Jenna, Mrs. Desmond's maid of honor. I'd just like to start out by congratulating both Seth and Jillian, and thank you for letting me be a part of your special day with you, too. I can't believe this day is finally here. It seems like yesterday, Jillian and I were dressing up in my mom's old bridesmaid's dresses, shopping for prom dresses, sitting in the rain at soccer games, graduating high school, waiting for Seth to finally pop the question, planning all the fun events that a wedding entails, and counting down to this special day, of course. I met Jillian about 13 years ago, and ironically, we met while playing soccer. We were on the same soccer team in Kiwanis, and who knew, just a few years later, I get to tag along with her to some of Seth's soccer games. I think it's safe to say that Jillian and I belong in the stands watching soccer and not on the field playing it. <laughs> it wasn't until high school where Jillian and I would reconnect and continue our friendship. Since I'm on the subject of high school and soccer, I cannot give a speech about Seth and Jillian and not include an embarrassing moment that I have experienced with them. So Seth, I apologize ahead of time, but I got Jillian's permission to share the story today. <laughs> it, <laughs> it was our senior year of high school, and one day Seth was sitting in between Jillian and I in the surge at Northwood. It was during passing periods, and a freshman girl walked right in front of where we were sitting, and as we were watching, a tampon had fallen out of her back pocket and landed just a few feet away from Seth's reach. Well, of course, the kind person that Seth is, <laughs> he went to go pick it up. <laughs> Julie and I quickly reached for his arms to hold him back. It was obvious he didn't know what it was. <laughs> but he just wanted to go give it back to her. <laughs> However, earlier in the week, Northwood's boys soccer team had played Lakeland Christian, and there was a girl on the boys soccer team, and she had scored a goal against them, and Northwood had lost. So of course, between Jilly and I, more than just a few people had heard about Seth's mishap. The vice principal thought it would be funny to go to Coach Dirksen's classroom and hand him his own little tampon himself because <laughs> of Seth's little incident. Do you remember that, Dirksen? <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Jillian, I want to thank you for being such a great friend, a listening ear, and for all your great advice. We've been there for each other during the hard times and the good times. Birthdays, graduations, proposals, job offers, loss and struggles of friends and family members, and distance. I look forward to more great milestones along the way and watching our friendship grow year after year. I feel so honored to be standing next to you today witnessing the marriage between you and Seth. I know you two have a wonderful adventure ahead of you. And with God's blessing, your marriage will last for decades to come. You are two extraordinary people, and as you sit side by side through this roller coaster of life, remember to scream from the peaks, hold hands through the dips, laugh through the loop, and enjoy every twist and turn. I wish you two newlyweds the best of luck together. May you bring joy, love, and happiness as one. And Seth, always remember to say those three little words to Jillian. You're right, dear. <laughs> now, Jillian, if you could place your hand on the table, so just turn around. And Seth, if you could push, put your hand on top of hers. Seth, this will be the last time you ever have the upper hand. <laughs> now let's all raise our glasses and toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Seth Dazma.